This is a speed test between the iPhone 16 Pro Max versus its predecessor, the iPhone 15 Pro Max from last year. Now this should be a real interesting test to see if there's really any major differences between these two from your day-to-day -day app launching and multitasking, etc. They both have iOS 18. The 16 Pro Max is on the A18 Pro, which is a three nanometer chipset. The 15 Pro Max on the A17 Pro, also a three nanometer chipset. They both have the six core graphics. They both have eight gigs of NVMe RAM. So let's go ahead and turn on both phones here at the same time and see which one will have the faster boot up and let's go iphone 16 pro max versus iphone 15 pro max speed test which pro max will have the faster boot up let's find out and oh now i have to say hold up the iphone 15 pro max from last year, the older phone with the older A17 Pro has the slightly faster boot up. Interesting. And we are in. Let's go ahead and swipe over here. These are the apps I'm gonna be using for this speed test. I'm gonna do this on both Pro Maxes. And as you can see, there is nothing in the background. All apps, caches, everything has been cleared out. So let's get started by tapping the phone app. Identical. Calculator. Identical. Let's go ahead and put in a simple calculation here and we'll leave it right there. Messages. See no differences yet. The camera. Very close. Let's go ahead and switch over to the front facing here on both and we'll leave it there. App Store. Identical, literally. Let's go ahead and click on an app here. We'll go ahead and click on this one or okay. We'll go ahead and click on this one and we'll go ahead and just leave it there. Amazon. Not really a big difference. Maybe the 16 Pro Max is slightly out in front, but not a huge difference. Let's go ahead and click on this one. Man, identical, 16 a little bit faster than that, but that can just be the Wi-Fi. However, eBay, a little bit faster again on the left. Let's go ahead and click on this. I don't see a huge difference. Maybe the 16 a tiny bit faster, Snapchat. Just about the same. Maybe the 16 Pro Max a little bit faster. Slow down the video for me on YouTube and let me know down below. Facebook. Identical. Instagram. Identical. Threads. Just about the same. We do have some games. Angry Birds 2. Logging in on both phones. Oh, super fast on both, but I think the 16 is ahead. Oh boy, this will be a close one. Oh, I'm gonna give the win to the 16 Pro Max here, but the 15 is right on its heels. Super Mario Run. Loading on both phones. A split second faster on the 16 Pro Max. We'll tap to begin. Oh man, very, very close. Sonic Boom. Oh, so close. You know what, watching it in real life, I think maybe the 15 Pro Max was actually ahead. Now do me a favor, go on YouTube, slow down the video for me on 0.25X. Let me know down in the comments. We'll play a tiny bit and we'll leave it there. Subway Surf. A little bit faster here on the 16. We'll tap to play. Temple Run 2. Ooh, okay. Loading on both phones. Oh man, so close. I'm gonna let this run and let's take a look here. A little bit faster on the 16. We'll play. And of course we do have the PUBG.
loading on both phones and the 16 Pro Max super fast. Although I'd have to say the 15 Pro Max also super fast, right on a teals. I don't see a huge difference here. I'm gonna give the win to the 16 Pro Max, but both are very quick, minimal differences. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the RAM management on both phones. Everything's in the background here as you can see. So we'll just go ahead and run through these apps again and we'll have a look to see if there's gonna be any, you know, lags or any stutters. Subway Surf, we can resume in three seconds here and we'll keep playing. So that's very nice. Sonic Boom. Again, we can resume here three seconds and we are playing. Nice, Mario Run. Non-issues. Angry Birds 2. No worries. Threads. Same place. Instagram. Same place. Facebook. No worries. Snapchat. And again, no reloads. eBay. Buttery smooth on both phones. Amazon. We can continue to shop. We'll go ahead and click on this one. And no worries. The App Store. Ooh, both kind of stuttered there a little bit. Interesting, all right. But other than that, still smooth. The camera. Now the 15 Pro Max kept it in the uh, front facing. Now you can take this one with a grain of salt. I think there's a setting where it'll remember the last setting. I don't think I set that on the 16 Pro Max, but the relaunching of the app back into the camera, nice and smooth. Messages, very nice. The calculator, no worries. And finally, the phone app, boom. So let me know in the comments below what you thought about this matchup. The bezels, I don't know if you can tell, are a lot thinner on the 16 Pro Max, so you do get a more immersive experience with the 16. If you have a 15 Pro Max, this phone's gonna get the software updates anyway. I say, just stick with your 15 Pro Max. Let me know your thoughts about this quick little speed test comparison between these two Pro Maxes in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Thank you.